When I first went to South Africa, Nelson Mandela was in prison, and it was not possible to read one word that he had ever spoken. And the regime told us that the reason was is that he was so extreme, he was so racist, he was so violent, that it would be dangerous for any person to read his writing. And two years after I went to South Africa, I went back to New Zealand to visit my parents. And I went to the local public library, and I got out of the library uh, a book by Nelson Mandela, uh, No Easy Walk to Freedom. And the book profoundly shocked me, because as I read the pages, I saw a man who not only understood black hopes, but understood white fears, and had a vision of how we could live together in peace with equality. And then I realized why we were not supposed to read what he said. But it was, in fact, when I was recovering from the letter bomb and I was uh, still in the hospital in Australia that I had the opportunity um, to go to Canberra uh, to meet Nelson Mandela. And subsequently, I, I, I met him quite a number of times. And about 18 years ago, I had a memoir written, uh, sorry, a biography written about me in which Nelson Mandela um, wrote the foreword. Uh, so I will always be grateful that I had the honor and the privilege of meeting um, one of the giants of our time. Nelson Mandela said to us, that he realized that when he walked out of the prison door, that if he did not leave hatred and bitterness and desire for revenge at the prison door, he would remain a prisoner forever. And similarly, I realized that if I was filled with hatred and bitterness and self-pity, desire for revenge, they would have failed to kill the body, but they would have killed the soul.